What's up, everybody? Happy Monday, August 7th, 2023. Wow, it is our six-year anniversary. I haven't been live in so long. Uh, pretty cool, actually. I need to do this more often. We started the show. It was all live. Everything was live from the very first show, um, August 7th, 2017, with the amazing Gert Garman and the help from Charnel Wright. I don't know what I would have done without the two of them. Uh, that's when I did it back on my iPhone and a little on a little camera stand. Um, and <laughs> we had uh, the table that I, you guys know me for at Citrus Club. And we were doing it live right there with everybody behind us. Uh, all the noise, no mics, no nothing. Um, we've graduated a little bit. I've got StreamYard now. And of course, we all got used to Zoom during the height of the pandemic. Um, but who knew back then that the TED show would last six years? Uh, when I named it The Ted Show, I didn't know I was going to have to say my name 400 times a day when I'm talking to people about the show, but uh, it took off and it's been such a blessing. Six years is our candy and iron anniversary. Go look that up. I have no idea what that means, but it's pretty cool that we've been around this long, but it's all due to you. It's due to the guests who continue to come on, who I continue to find fascinating and I continue to be motivated and inspired by. Uh, it's my family and friends who continue to support this crazy dream called The Ted Show. And in reality, I didn't even know it was a dream back in the day. Um, it was just something that I wanted to do. And I tell this story anytime anyone asks me the origin story of The Ted Show. Uh, but literally, I got tired of people asking me up at the club, well, what do you do? You must be really wealthy because all I know is that you sit up here and have meetings and hold court and have cocktails. And while that is all 100% true, and I'm blessed, uh, I do a lot in the community. I really wanted to spotlight those people and let people know what I do, which at the time and still is a mortgage broker, a mortgage person. And so we just started to kick off the show. I remember Gert Garman gave me the best advice. Whatever you pick, be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. So for the first couple of years, all we did was five days a week. Monday through Friday, 1 p.m., we went live. Didn't matter what the scenario was. Uh, we had iPhones shut down on us. We had people not show up. Uh, it was crazy, and it was definitely crazy times. Um, but I loved every second of it. And now we've progressed over the six years. We're over 1,600 shows. So for you math people, that's over 250 shows a year. And I have to tell you, I've learned from every single one of you. I've loved every single minute of it. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to all my guests and all my supporters. Uh, we've had cancer survivors on, CEOs of big companies, presidential candidates, uh, sheriff candidates. Uh, we've had politicians on. We've had leaders. We've had innovators and in inspirational and motivational people. And we continue to do that. And so some of the upcoming things that I wanted to share with you is we're going to launch some playlists and some new series on The Ted Show. Uh, we already have Heroes Always Welcome, which is our show for and about veterans and uh, veterans transitioning out of service into civilian life and what's that like so that we can be a resource and inspire, hopefully, uh, veterans who might be struggling. We also have our Transformation Talk series uh, with Donna Morton and for uh, Donna Morton Morgan, and for the uh, Hero Show, that's Enrique Acosta Gonzalez co-hosts that with me. Uh, but for Transformation Talk, this is these are people who are coming on who have literally survived. Uh, every, thank you, CC. Love you. I can't wait for you to come back on. Um, I have had people on the show who have come back from dying, uh, addiction, abuse on that Transformation Talk show. And so it's a powerful show and a meaningful show to me. And we want to continue to spotlight people like that. So we have some shows coming up uh, that will gear toward everything from business. Uh, I'm going to be launching a show that's all about investors. That's on the business side. But we're also going to be launching a show that's all about nonprofits. And so each week uh, we will have a nonprofit on the show to share their journey, maybe have some of their board members and or uh, anybody who can come on that might be able to speak to how amazing that nonprofit is. Uh, we want to give back. I mean, the whole point of the TED show is to give back. Uh, it's it's about community and collaboration and being together on this crazy journey. 
uh, in our communities. Uh, what's great about going back to COVID a little bit, uh, I would have never done anything live stream like this. I would have never not had people in front of me or next to me back in the day. Everybody stood next to me and I've got broad shoulders. So we're all scrunched into one camera. And at the height of the pandemic, we had no choice but to go use a streaming platform. And that expanded the, um, the audience worldwide, which has been such a beautiful thing. I have fans all over the world. I have a large following in Asia, uh, South America, Europe. I mean, I get asked uh, by guests in Australia, New Zealand to come on the show. God bless them because that's such a crazy time difference. But that shows you the power of continuing to spotlight human beings and their human story and their human journey. And that's what the show is all about. So we have some really cool things coming up. I'm also going to be doing on the playlists, we're going to be spotlighting all of this month for the next 30 days. I'm gonna to try to get a snippet of everybody's show, as many as I can possibly do. So expect to be tagged, expect to have a reel or a snippet or whatever those young kids are calling that stuff uh, right now, but expect to be tagged and spotlighted because all of you have shared a part of your heart and your soul. And I'm super, su oh, thank you so much. Jill and Kevin, what's up? Moving lines, you guys were amazing. Um, artists like like Moving Lines, like Jill and Kevin, people who come on the show, who sing their heart out, and we have them go live so that people can see the gift and the talent. I've had poetry, authors, uh, you name it, performers on the show worldwide again and local. This is about impacting our global community because we are so much closer than you think. So I have this little ditty and I'm almost afraid to sing it now that CeCe Tennille's on the show if she's still on. But I love music. And if you don't know, I can sing. I don't know if I can sing a cappella right now. We're going to give it a try. By the way, cheers to all of you. You know I love you. Um, I do better with a microphone and a little music, but you know how streaming platforms are. If I use the music, I don't want to get shut down. So um, I'm going to sing this. I could not have done this with a little or a lot of my friends. Uh, and so I'm just gonna sing you a couple of um, words from one of my favorite songs by Joe Cocker. I think the Beatles were involved. All sorts of great artists have sang this song and I don't know why I'm a little bit blotty there. So bear with me if I'm buffering. Um, but I love this song because I couldn't have done this without you. And I just wanna show and express my gratitude and love for all of the support. Um, I get messages, I got a message on Friday from a friend and I won't tag her or say her name, but she'll know who I'm talking about. And she, she shared a story with someone that she met with after she did the show. And the person shared how much the show impacted her and changed her viewpoint and changed her and, and inspired her. And so that's what the show is all about. I'm so thankful that you shared that with me because honestly, that's why we do it. This is why we do the show. This is why I am committed to it. This is why people are like, you're crazy for doing five shows a week, or sometimes it's more than that. But I get fed by it. It pours into me. You all pour into me. So this is not something that's that altruistic, even though I, I love it. I love the fact that I get back a million times what you all, uh, what I give to the show. So without further ado, this is with a little help from my friends. And I've got to read the lyrics because that's how old I am. Um, but I want you to know I love and appreciate each one of you. I hope you share this show. I hope you tag yourself if you were a guest or a supporter. Um, I love each and every one of you. And I pray you have an amazing day and look to be tagged and look for more great content from the guests that continue to want to be on the show. And I continue to want to spotlight and give a voice to because that's what it's all about. Okay, so <clears throat> the first line of the song is great because this is exactly what's gonna happen. What would I do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Mm, I get high with a little help from my friends. Mm, I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. I'd like to go to that high note, but that requires a microphone and a little more juice, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's my message to you. I couldn't do without all of the help from my friends. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Happy sixth anniversary to everyone who has come on the show 
supported the show, been impacted by the show, and continues to shower me and our guests with all of that love. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.